Hello everyone, I'm back to tuning into today's Centre 14 day video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next Centre 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 25th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accent GFS that is ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the first half of December. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just to say, there were no videos uh, yesterday. And I am on limited uh, hours at the moment. I had a fall on Thursday night, which was quite a serious fall. Of I haven't done any sort of severe damage. I've not broken any bones or um, got any internal organ damage. But like I have got a lot of bruising, a lot of swelling, a lot of pain. And so yesterday, I just spent the day in bed, really, and like most of the day, I've been in bed as well. But I thought I'd better get up and like just do a quick video uh, for you, which I can do as long as I'm just able to sit down uh, doing this. Like, I can't do the second job at the moment, what for gap? Because I'm standing on my feet for eight hours, but like with this, I just sit in the chair and speak into the microphone. So it's doable um but yeah i'm a bit shaken up and uh, not feeling 100 percent to say the least we're here though but the cold has lifted quite a lot so sounding quite a bit stronger with my voice on that but um overall it's been a tough week <laughs> but there we go these things happen you're not interested in my tales of woe are you so uh, i'll get on with your table boarding down but just to say if i make any sort of movements i do get a lot of pain in my ribs so you might suddenly you go ah and um, that's the reason why. <laughs> uh, okay, let's start off then. We're going to begin with the latest wind flow map from earthnullschool.net. Show map got low pressure sitting to our south to the west of Bay of Biscay. Our storm Claudia, Claudia uh, I think it's called, um, with higher pressure up towards Iceland and Greenland. Our winds have gone into a cooler easily. This, of course, is a precursor eventually these northerlies here are pushing down through the west of Europe and things will be turning colder over the coming few days and nights. Central in temperature is sitting at 12 degrees, 12.0, that is 5.6 degrees above the 61 to 99 average and that's provisional. So sorry, one that's provisional to the uh, 14th of November there. These of GFS, upper head temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We'll be at London today. The red line is a 30 year upper head temperature average for London. We're still a little bit above average with the upper head temperatures at the moment in the south, but they are going to be dropping quite a lot in the next week. So you can be turning quite a lot colder. Our first sort of proper cold snap of the season to come in the uh, third week of November. Last week of the month sees a recovery in most of red temperatures after yesterday's deluge were turning drier now for a few days. Uh, precipitation looks like it's increasing most through the last week of the month, so turning milder and wetter into the last week of um, November there. Temperature anomalies for the next five days to the 20th of November below average, especially for Scotland, but all areas are coming out generally a bit colder than average 6 to 10 day. Also coming out colder than average 10 to 14 day though. Goes a bit mild and average for Ireland, England, Wales, but it's slightly up a cold and average side still for Scotland. Precipitation anomalies next seven days to 15th of November. Most areas drier than normal. 8 to 14 day is near normal as well. Okay, we're going to start going from chart data now, starting with the latest uh, UK mate Euro run. So I will just enable the hover. So everyone will just have a hop up will have a look. So uh, this is midday Tuesday. Trough of low pressure pushing across the north. The country bridge moving through the Atlantic up to Greenland. And winds switching round into a cold nor northerly. And that leads us into a cold Wednesday with uh, proper northerly winds. Then most northerly winds continue into Thursday as well. And then the end of the week sees a trough of low pressure moving in from the Atlantic. Now it's coming to cold air. So things could get quite interesting with that trough of low as it moves in. To that cold air, maybe, maybe, some of us, chance of some snow with that. But normally we'll bring snow showers to, <coughs> <coughs> to northern parts of the country. But um, that trough of low moving in on Friday to Saturday, it looks like that's stalling as it's moving into the cold air. Remember, the low, what the low is trying to do is it's trying to bring milder air in off the Atlantic in that direction. And like there's weather system through there, of course, ahead of it, it's cold. Behind that system, it's uh, warmer. 
So as that system pushes through, we find there's an allegation in the ice bath. That tells us that as the low is moving into the cold air, it's kind of struggling to push its milder air in. And uh, therefore, that is the kind of thing that can lead to a survey. But it is very early in the season. It's only November. Would be better if it was like December or January. But one to watch, I think, at the end of week, maybe. Could be some wintry conditions. Icon. Again, brings that trough of low pressure through the country on Tuesday. Uh, then switches the wind around to a colder north, northeasterly, as we go through into Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, and then we've got that system pushing out, pushing through much more um, steadily with ICON compared to the UK Met. So I doubt there will be much so about that, just bringing like outbreaks of rain in across the country. Maybe some snow over Scottish Mountains and the Pennines, but basically that's just wet weather heading in from the Atlantic. The uh, GFS. Looks like this. Again, that trough of low pressure moving through the country Tuesday to Wednesday, introducing those colder north to northeast winds. And they could bring some snow showers into northern, northeastern areas as well. There will be some quite sharp overnight frost as well, I think, later next week. Then into a uh, weekend, low pressure heads in from the Atlantic. High pressure trying to get going over Scandinavia there, you'll notice. But it uh, looks like it's below pressure from the Atlantic. That's the driving feature for us. Although that low does start going on northwest southeast line, so a bit of a diving low, it turns cooler behind it, and then again we're into those uh, Atlantic driven winds until we get to the very end of November. But again, we do see a bit of a hint here of a Scandinavian high, uh, but again, it looks like low pressure from the Atlantic keeps that at bay to the 1st of December there. Right, moving on to the GEM, this is how the gem's looking. Uh, so again, top of low pushing through on Tuesday. Introducing those cold northerly winds for Wednesday, a proper cold uh, blast with those. Uh, then into Thursday and Friday, trough of low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. Again, we see a bit of a stall with that trough of low. So it is struggling to move its milder air in from the Atlantic as it comes up against the uh, block of colder air. See the allegation in the isobars. We always look for those kinky isobars uh, to tell us if there's a stall going on. There is with that. So higher pressure trying to build over Scandinavia as well to some degree with the gem. And in fact does so. So we end up going into an easterly weather. That's very different from the GM. But to choose the 25th, we're into quite a cold looking easterly. Check out the upper air temperatures with that up to uh, day 10. And see we are in some, uh, you know, genuine cold air minus 5 Celsius berm. So that minus 5 Celsius berm pushes southwards Tuesday to Wednesday. Then we're all into that really. Until the weekend, when it turns a little bit less cold, not mild. And then the cold air comes back in from the east again around days 8, 9 and 10. Quite an interesting east again, to say the least. Uh, a GM, I should say. And then the east again looks like this. So once more, we've got that trough of road pushing through. Uh, during the middle part of the week, uh, we go into those cold northerly winds and low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic. Introduce about milder air much more smoothly and straightforwardly. At the end of the week, next weekend looking quite mild, but also quite unsettled, but windy. And then those unsettled conditions taking us up to and beyond at day 10. Again, a bit of a hint to try to build some high pressure towards Iceland and Greenland, but low pressure coming in from the southwest brings milder air up from the uh, southwest there. But will it back winding to the east? Build up those heights. Let's have a look. 360 hours, a bit inconclusive, so heights are rising to the north and to the northeast and uh, we've got low pressure we've got low pressure out to the west as well so probably a bit chilly actually that for east there but milder with both southerly winds out to the west well this is the precipitation forecast based on that east end run from tibetia.com to day 10 so we go into most normally wintry middle part we may introduce these wintry showers snow showers into northern east there could even be a little bit winter let's get down into the south on wednesday then most of winter showers retreat back to the coast. The end of week sees outbreaks of rain, possibly with a little bit of sleet and snow. Central northern regions mixed in, heading in from the Atlantic. And then we're into milder uh, westerly winds, so uh, any wintry conditions, and so it turns back to rain. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 25th of November. 28 members of the East um, ensembles with low pressure over into the east of the country, looking unsettled. Wind coming in 
generally from a slightly less cold West Sea direct secretary with chalky operational. And then 23 with low pressure going to the north, to the northwest, bringing in like a westerly flow with that too. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we got. It will get us to the 30th of November. 17 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. That brings in a milder west southwesterly flow. We've got 16 with high pressure down towards France. That will bring up milder southwesterly flow. We've got 13 with low pressure to our east. And that brings in like a westerly, possibly slightly northwesterly flow. Uh, and then we've got uh, a minority option of just five, pretty big charming operational rub with higher pressure building to uh, the north and trying to go back into colder winds from the east again. We'll see about that. CFS meets you finally. These are 500 millibar height anomalies breaking down into weekly periods. First week period takes us from the 15th, 21st of November. Next week, with uh, high pressure blocking around Greenland. Low pressure through the north from the west of Europe. That brings in the wind from the north or northeasterly direction. So cold in the week ahead, of course. Week two is going to be the 22nd to the 28th of November. Low pressure through the north and the west of Europe. Uh, looking unsettled, but probably less cold. Winds back in the ground more of a westerly. Week three is going to be the 29th of November. The 5th of December, with low pressure just out to our west. That's likely to bring up winds of a southerly or a southwesterly direction. And then week four rounds it all off. It's going to be the 6th through to the 12th of December. High pressure blocking to the north, so high pressure between Greenland and Svalbard. Low pressure down to southwest. That's probably still keeping us mild, but it's not all that far away from switching winds around to a colder easterly so hmm that looks a bit poised as we go further on into December to possibly turn things colder we've got to run that energy down here though and if we do I reckon that block will take over and bring the wind around to the east running up towards Christmas that'd be interesting wouldn't it we'll see okay we're done if you've enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe make so sure um, for doing that and just say that i'm okay so you're probably a little bit worried about me hearing how i've been talking through this video because i'm in quite a bit of pain and a little bit short of breath as well uh but you know i'm fine and uh and yeah so uh the content will get back to normal over the next few days and uh and i'll see you again with more soon for this one that's all for now and thank you so much for watching bye for now enjoy the rest of your saturday evening and bye for now.